You know that, okay, you are answerable. It doesn't matter that I'm saying something else. Yeah. Just a minute, um, we have live pictures from Imo State where Governor Hope Uzodima is now approaching the polling unit to cast his vote as dressed in white and he can support his red cap uh, in company of his wife. Um, quite a number of the candidates um, have voted earlier. Now Hope Uzodima is approaching uh, being chaired by some of the people who are already on the queue. It's hard to tell where the queue is, if the governor is going right in front of the queue. Uh, perhaps they've given him uh, that privilege to vote. He just approached, um, approached the INEC officials who are now examining his permanent voter card. We'll wait to see how seamless, uh, hopefully, this process will be. We saw uh, Governor Diri, Joe Diri earlier at his polling unit where he spent less than two minutes, you know, to cast his uh, ballot. A very interesting development coming across um, polling units in Imo State. It's been a mixed bag of reports of early arrival in some places and of course how the um, BVAS machine is also uh, functioning. Um, there are two, it's a two-way approach. Um, you either use your fingerprint and then they also capture your face to identify that you are the true owner of the card and then um, they mark your finger with an ink and give you a ballot paper with which you can thumbprint the candidate of your choice and drop the paper inside a ballot box. It's supposed to be that simple, but um, in some areas that we got report from earlier today, there were issues with the Beavers machine. We understand that has been affected in Kogi, and uh, we're looking forward to see how it will work with the Imo State Governor, who is now about to cast his ballot. Um, some of these politicians, um, Mr. Aleke, uh, you find out that um, they, they, uh, no matter how you win election, you have to return to the ballot. You know, the expectation is that that should guide the principle of leadership should guide your you 